I'm being thing. forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So. so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit now. me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me in my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're not criminals! They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh my God, don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what did. you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you? Ma'am, stay right here. Ma'am, ma'am. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma no, you can't, you can't go. You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Newport News, Virginia, where we find Humpty Dumpty and his beautiful wife, Mrs. Potato Head is they bang on Dr. Dave. But I'll tell you what, sweetheart, you should watch who you bang on because I bang back twice as hard. Oh, yeah. Well, sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy. I think that's the problem is that most people, I think whether it's on either side, most people believe that this is a sprint and that you're just supposed to push, 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 push. But this is most definitely a marathon. This is a marathon. Four and a half years in just for Newport News, I can tell you this is a marathon. And I'm going to just keep doing it, if nothing else, just out of spite. <laughs> just out of spite. That's what I like to hear. So, like I said earlier on the other video, I am a very patient woman. I will bide my time and strike when it's appropriate. It's that scorpion in me. Not a physical strike, mind you. That's not any Of course sort of not. Strike. Of course not. I've never been violent with anybody. Ever. It's not our prerogative. No. Violence doesn't do anything. Look, Susie, the only time you ever ran a marathon was to get into a food line. And you would be violent if you ran out of your, let's see, what do you eat? Uh, cheese fries? I don't know. Whatever you eat, yeah, you'd make a stampede to get those. I know that Dr. Dave and all of his supporters believe that, oh, if you eliminate Christopher, then it'll all be over. And you're wrong. You're wrong. And what the most scariest part for you guys is, is if this is who we are, who the fuck is going to come after me? What is the next generation going to do? And that is part of it. You guys don't understand. Part of this is just to show just to show the future generations that these are things that you are allowed to do. You can do these things. You can do these things. Like and in that we, yeah. And so therefore, as these youngins grow up, and that's what they want to do. They want to eliminate it. They don't want these youngins to know that they can do these things. So anyways, I got at least three youngins in my life that completely, totally understand what my issues are and what they can and can't do in this country. So, Dr. Dave will be long gone, and I'll still be educating and guiding people to do exactly what it is that he hates. Well, Dr. Dave's already on his deathbed. I mean, you look at him, he's fucking positively skeletal to begin with. Reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. I'm in good health, 
except for a slight cold that I have this week, but that's nothing to worry about. Now Susie, on the other hand, says she's going to be an educator. I ask you, good people, a woman who delivers food for Grubhub. Look at her. Take a close look at her. Would you want her teaching your children whatever she knows? By the way, this woman claims she's smaller than 68% of the women in America. Ooh, we that's a stretch there, sweetheart. And that's why he's, he's senile too, because I mean he says you don't have hair. That oh yeah, that's right. I do have hair. Yeah. See, it's right here. You don't have hair. Okay. I so know Michael Cerrone, who doesn't have hair. That's why he has to keep it just in his ball cap yeah. while he's a guest on Dr. Dave's yeah. show. He doesn't have any hair. He's got them little sprigs at the front. And I do live in a townhouse, not an apartment. Okay, this isn't a hostel. This is my my sequoia. It is my sequoia. It's my sequoia. It is. I'm oh. not gonna. I'm wearing socks. Look at, I got socks. You got socks on. You got socks on with his Crocs. I know. I don't know. He's getting crazy now. He's joining the civilized world. With his socks on. Anyways, so I don't know how many of y'all follow Dr. Dave, but he's he's really he's gotten himself so infuriated over the silliest stuff. He is very obsessed with you. He made one video about me. Like it's been like a month ago, and I heard about it, so I went and made like. Five or six and somehow, videos. and somehow, I have. Now he's got like ten videos about me. Somehow, I have wrangled Christopher to where he can't leave. Uh, you know, he had a, oh, a she'll, drunk, she'll a drunk she'll night. Chop my, she'll chop my dick off. He says. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, now let me begin with Michael Cerrone. No baloney, right, Cerrone? Yeah, I don't care about him because he's on something, or possibly he's off his meds. As far as the socks with your Crocs, yeah, that's a dress code requirement. No bare feet are allowed in the probation office. So, yeah, that's mighty nice there what you got. And by the way, is that your body camera? You can't afford a real body camera, so you just clip your cell phone to your, uh, your fatigues there. You are never in the military. Never. So don't lie about that because that's stolen value, you piece of shit. And finally, we come to Mrs. Potato Head, who claims she's smaller than 68% of American women. Hmm. I think she's a liar 68% more of the time. But carry on. Why would that keep me from leaving? You think that, that would actually, <laughs> that would actually be, yeah, that would be a good reason to leave. I'm at least leaving to go to the hospital to stanch this blood flow from my severed penis, but. But this is that, that's who their supporters are, is a guy like that. And uh, anyways, and out of just out of spite, out of spite. So now what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go do all the things to take care of the things that I have that somehow I shouldn't be able to afford, but I can't afford. And um, we're going to regroup yet again. And that's what we do all the time. We'll regroup. We'll move forward. We'll find the next avenue to deal with these fuckers because they have to be dealt with. And... I just want to say it again. I know I've said it on other videos. I want you guys to understand. If you look at how backed up the court system is right now, um, that is only with them hearing 5% of cases. 95% of cases are plea deals. If, if we can get people to start pushing, guilty or not, start pushing to make the state do their job, do their job and prove that you are guilty of something, Hey, Mrs. Potato Head, here's a novel idea. Why not just follow the law, do what you're supposed to do as an upstanding member of society, and then you won't find yourself in court? Oh, oh, I understand. Yeah, then you'd be called a bootlicker. I, I got it. I got it. So, all right, we're going to go home, go do our errands, go do all that stuff that we can't afford to do. Yeah. I did bring my own coffee from home today, so... I'm even going to go pick up stuff that somebody's going to bring out to my car for me. Oh, my God. Oh, no. You paid for stuff? I paid how, for how stuff. How did you afford that? Oh, well, I got money. I mean, we had to I've got I've got credit, unlike Dr. Dave. But wait a minute. How did you have money when I had to spend all of our income on your feed bill? On my feed bill? <laughs> I mean, God, I only make three thousand dollars a month. I just I I, okay. So if we're gonna if we're gonna talk about this for a moment, Listen, I really I really wanted to go. But if we're gonna talk about this for a minute, I just want you guys to know that I am smaller than sixty eight percent of American women by size. 
the dress size that I buy is smaller than 68% of women. Now, I don't like talking about these things. It doesn't really matter to me. He's still going to call me fat. I really don't care. Um, but it's just, it is, when he insults me and I am smaller than 68% of American women, he insults 68% of American women. Of course, he doesn't have any women, so. No, he doesn't. You know why? Because he's you know an asshole. That's a pretty bold statement to make there, Susie. Also known as Mrs. Potato Head. Yeah, I tell you what, she says her rent is $1,500 a month, and their total income is $3,000 a month. Now, we still have to pay for the car and the insurance and gasoline and the electric bill and the cell phones and and then there's the food bill now you oh man you guys i'm telling you she eats at least three hundred dollars a week and by yourself in your shitty apartment in cleveland dr dave do you know why oh i know you know why oh my god well i i have family from ohio my, my father is from ohio let me tell you uh women in ohio are built for the cold so <laughs> Uh, I love them to death. They're wonderful women, but I'm gonna tell you right now it, it must be dr. Dave's worst fucking nightmare to walk outside in Ohio because that is all he's going to see So well, you see, it doesn't bother him though because bones don't get cold. I suppose I suppose but the only women he's gonna find in Ohio that are Rail thin are gonna be the people. Oh, that's right. He the calls me a melt the meth heads. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. Meth heads, right? Yeah, the meth heads. Look at me. I'm a giant meth head. Giant meth head. Ooh, <laughs> so Anyways. Oh, but speaking of Dr. Dave, I did want to point out that uh, I've made comments on his videos because, like I said earlier, he's really obsessed with me. Now he's up to, like, at least half a dozen actual videos made from my videos, but he's also done three live streams. He has. Talking about us on the past three He has. Weekends. But one thing that he's always talking about is about our financial status and my education level, and, of course, now he's on my clothes because tell me you don't know anything about the military without telling me you don't know anything about the military when you see a, a button in a liner in a jacket. Yeah. Look, Humpty Dumpty, you were never in the military. Are you trying to add stolen valor to your list of scumbag charges? You should shut your mouth while you're ahead. Mm. Oh, you can't shut your mouth. That's why you're always being arrested. Well, it's also so, funny when he talks about my teeth. I don't know what is everybody thinks there's something wrong with my teeth. My teeth look pretty good. I think 45. <laughs> they they, they notice... expect they expect that people like you and I are supposed to be cinematic. And that if you don't look like what's on the movies, then you shouldn't be on video at all. Well, everybody needs a real reality check. Okay? Americans don't look like Hollywood. We don't. And anybody who doesn't want to be on video because you don't look like in Hollywood, I am sorry that you feel that way. Because this is the truth. This is who we are. This is what Americans are. I have news for you, Susie. No one's ever going to confuse you with being a Hollywood starlet. You don't have to worry about that, sweetheart. Nobody in their right mind would ever say, hey, that's a Hollywood star. Mm -hmm. His fake-ass manufactured personality. He and couldn't. he just can't understand that I can come down here and do what I do and <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> you fucking piece of garbage, piece of shit, motherfucker. Couldn't you even. You can't say this. On, put this on your fucking channel. You can't do it because you need to have them clicks because you're beholden to money because money is important to you. You don't have any integrity. You're a manufactured piece of shit. It's you're true. a bottom feeder leech. If it wasn't for people like me, who you claim to hate, you wouldn't be able to get your fucking money off of dumbass people on YouTube. Well, Humpty Dumpty, you got one thing right. I make my money off scum like you. Yeah, stupid idiots, imbeciles, morons, and yahoos, just like you. You're right about that, sweetheart. This is just the beginning. Um, he's done, he's gone through, he's done all of our videos. This was just kind of a little ad lib on today, because, you know, why not? Uh, but Dr. Dave, if you're upset with everything, you're really going to be upset, because you're not going to like what's in the future for the things that we choose to show and talk about about you. So, anyways, I'm going to go off and enjoy my life. Yeah, we got and things to do. Got things to do, and I'm going to go make my home a little bit nicer, and I'm going to take care of my responsibilities. And, um, 
Dr. Dave, I'm not even the Newport oh. News Judicial System, the Justice Building, specifically the probation officer, you guys can all fuck the hell off. Now, Susie, do you kiss Christopher with that foul mouth? Mmm, I'm telling you, I bet he has to get so drunk to sneak up on you. He doesn't even sleep in the same bed with you anymore, does he? Well, now, folks, there you have it. I have really struck a nerve with these two, and I haven't even started yet. You know, once Dr. Dave gets started, he's not going to back off. At any rate, if you want to see more of these idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Humpty Dumpty and Mrs. Potato Head. Y'all come back real soon now, you hear?